I welcome you viewers once again to today's edition of our daily family prayer hour. Just another time of refreshing in God's presence. You are welcome and the Lord bless you for tuning in at this hour to fellowship with us. Praise the Lord. Before we proceed, I just want us to say a word of prayer as we bless the name of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time of refreshing. You have made readily available unto us once again. We thank you for the sweet fellowship. We are already enjoying in your presence. Lord, we know that you are in charge and you are in control as you are set to reach out to somebody out there tonight. In the name of Jesus, we come boldly before your throne of mercy and grace as we find, we obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Lord, we pray that the understanding of your word shall be made simple to us. In the name of Jesus, let your word permeate into every heart. As everyone that is listening right now, let your word make a tremendous you know, difference in their lives. In the name of Jesus, thank you, gracious Lord, for this privilege once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank our Father in the Lord and the person of Bishop in Albanyate for this opportunity he has given me to minister to God's people in this magnitude. And I want to thank, you know, uh, uh, our mama as well for, uh, you know, being, you know, a, a great support to our Father in the Lord. The Lord bless you mightily. The Lord you know, enrich you much more with his anointing and grace in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Tonight, we shall be looking at a topic I titled, Living by the Spirit of God. Oh yes, living by the Spirit of God. What does it mean to live by the Spirit of God? Living by the Spirit of God is actually both living in and walking in the Spirit. By implication, this is being in the consciousness of the Spirit of God as your medium of existence and operating by it. As believers, we ought to live in the Spirit and by operation, walk in in the spirit amen hallelujah this ought to be the constant k or constant c in the life of every believer for god is a spirit and they that worship him must do that in spirit and in truth the word of the word of god has charged us in the book of john chapter 4 Verses 23 to 24. John chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. He says, and I read. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You can only please God. You can only do, you know, the mind of our heavenly Father only when you walk in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But there is an enemy an enemy of the spirit. It will always fight to hinder or stop you from living the victorious life in the spirit. A. It is responsible for the numerous manifestations of the work 
of darkness. This enemy is called the flesh. Oh yes, the flesh. Hallelujah. It is in enmity with the spirit. And forever shall it be against the spirit of God at work in you. The spirit is the opposite of the flesh. Or you can say the flesh is the opposite of the spirit. They are just two parallel lines. Amen. And if you must please God, you must walk in the spirit. Amen. Now, we are going to be seeing the practical life of a believer. What the practical life of a believer is. As you as we look at, you know, the battle between the flesh and the spirit. Please turn your Bibles with me to the book of Romans chapter 8 from verses 1. And we'll read. There is now, therefore, no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has freed you from the law of sin and death. Amen. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has delivered you, has freed you, has set you free or made you free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could do could not do in that it was weak, for what the Lord could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, so that the righteousness of the Lord might be fulfilled in us, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So what he's trying to say there is that the fulfillment, amen, the, the righteousness of the law being fulfilled in a life has to be when we walk in accordance to the spirit of God. That is actually when it can be, you know, fulfilled and then the manifestation thereof, amen. For those who walk according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who walk according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is hostile toward God. For it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can it be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Hey, if you want to please God, you must walk in the spirit. The Bible says, it says, be you holy even as your father is holy. So in other words, it's saying, you are just like your father. And now God is the spirit. <laughs> and you ought to walk in the spirit. Amen. Because that is the only way you can please God. You cannot walk in the flesh or do the things of the flesh and at the same time want to please God. It's not going to be possible. Amen. However, you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. Anyone without the spirit of Christ in him or in them, hallelujah, is not of God and can never be of God. And if Christ is in you, if Christ dwells in you, then the body is dead because of sin. 
but the spirit is a life because of righteousness. And that is why the Bible speaking says that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Come on, somebody say to yourself, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Can you say that again? I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are the dangers of walking in the flesh? Walking in the flesh is dangerous. Walking in the flesh is not something you should think of. It's not something that should cross your mind. Amen. We should always seek to please our Heavenly Father. One of the dangers here is your flesh makes you an enemy of God. Your flesh makes you an enemy of God. Kindly turn your Bibles with me to the book of Romans chapter 7 verses 18 and 19. Romans chapter 7 verses 18 and 19. It says, For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwells no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good I do not find. For the good that I would do, I do not. But the evil that I would not do, that I do. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The flesh is, oh, is an arch enemy of God. Amen. And you also get that in the book of Romans chapter 8. Can you turn your Bibles back to Romans chapter 8? Verse 7 and 8. Romans 8, 7 and 8. It says, Because the carnal mind is hostile toward God. Hey, the carnal mind is hostile toward God. For it is not subject to the law of God. Mm. Nor indeed can it be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You want to please God, please walk in the Spirit. You want to please God, please live in the Spirit. You want to please God, please live by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It leads to spiritual dryness and death. That is another danger of walking in the flesh. It leads to spiritual dryness and death. Romans chapter 8 verses 12 and 13 says, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. But if you live after the flesh, you will die. But if you through the Spirit Put to death the works of the body, you will live. Amen. Amen. You see, when we're talking about this flesh, and you're talking about the spirit, and somebody's wondering, wow, the flesh. The flesh. Of course. The flesh is actually what will make you not to do the things of God. Whatever that is anti the life of the kingdom the life that is in the kingdom of God, okay, is part of the manifestations or the works of the flesh. Hallelujah. Don't worry, as we proceed, you get to understand. Amen. Another one now, just to buttress the point, is loving the things of the world more than the things of the kingdom of God. You should understand that as believers, even though we are in this world, we are not of this world. Even though we are in this world, we are not of this world because the system that we live by and operate is not of this world. And so, anytime you realize that you're beginning to love the things of the world much more than the things 
that are of the kingdom of God, then there is a problem. It's a red light. It's a bad signal. It's an indicator that something is wrong. This is how you get to discover whether you are in the flesh or in the spirit. It's, an, it's just an indicator. Of course, Romans chapter 8, from verse 5 to 6, it says, For those who work according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, the things of the world. But those who walk according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. Of course, they do mind the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You want to enjoy life in abundance that Jesus Christ brought to us? Hallelujah. And the peace that he has given us? My brother, my sister, it is high time we lived and worked in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. We lived and worked in the spirit. We just ought to. Yes. That is how our identity as believers can be conspicuous, can be spoken well of, can be seen by the people of the world. Hallelujah. 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 Now, of course, the flesh is weak. The weakness of the flesh can only lead to defeat and failure. Child of God, you will never be defeated. You will never fail. In the name of Jesus, you are not a failure. You cannot be defeated because your heavenly father, hallelujah, your heavenly father who sent Jesus Christ to die for you and I. Amen. Amen. By, the, by his blood shed upon the cross of Calvary. Amen. Has, you know, you know, you know, severed us from anything that has to do with defeat and failure. Experience increase. Experience success. Experience abundance in your family, in your life, at your place of work, in your business, in everything good your hand find it to do. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He has designed you to be above and not beneath. He has designed you to be on top and not beneath. You shall not go down. In the name of Jesus. You will realize that all through the scriptures, spiritual failure has always been as a result of the weakness of the flesh. Child of God, know who you are. You are not just anybody. You are not an accident, but a spiritual personality. Amen. You are a spirit because you are born of the spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Yes, you are born of the Spirit of God. And the Bible speaking in the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, it says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the flesh. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith, you are an overcomer. Everything that looks ugly around you, you have overcome them all. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, say to yourself, I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. Say that to yourself. I am an overcomer. Child of God, if you must live by the Spirit of God, if you must live in the spirit of God, if you must walk in the spirit of God, then you must subdue the flesh. You must subdue the flesh. You must kill the flesh. Amen. This is very important because until you put down the flesh, 
your spirit cannot be released to operate in the supernatural dimension you ought to operate until you pull down, put down the flesh until you subdue the flesh completely you just may not be able to operate at that frequency at that dimension at that spiritual canal and echelon where God operates where you ought to operate like your heavenly father amen so now therefore how can you walk in the spirit how can you subdue the flesh how can you put the flesh under my there the flesh will continue to fight it will continue it will it it it, it will continue to want to thrive in your life but it is left to you to say no to make that decision and say no i live for jesus and for him alone amen and you can only achieve this by living just like jesus christ and he has spelt it all out for us he has shown us the way he's given us the key he's given us the power he has told us how to go about it to live above amen above the flesh and that is why he says in Romans chapter 8 verse 1 he said there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus who live not after the flesh but after the spirit for the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus you must understand this the law, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has freed us from the law of sin and death. So you just have to operate in that cocoon, in that law, you know, in that atmosphere, okay, circumscribed by the power and the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And now let's just go quickly to Galatians chapter 5. We'll just take it quickly. Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 25. Galatians 5, 16 to 25. Amen. Okay, so now I read. Amen. It says, I say then, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you cannot do the things that you desire. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. If you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. What law are we talking about here? The law of sin and death. So if you are led of the spirit, if you leave, by the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. He says then, you cannot be under the law of sin and death. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, you know, dissensions, heresies, envies, drunkenness, reveries and such like of which i tell you beforehand as i have also told you in time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of god those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of god people of god whenever you see yourself loving the things of the world then the things that are in the kingdom of god is an indicator that look probably you're just backsliding or you're just straying away it's just a clarion call it's just you know you know you know you know you know a cry for you to make a u-turn or to just you know quickly readjust yourself the time we are in is not a time to joke with your spiritual life. The time we're in, oh, the days are evil. This is not a time 
to, 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 to go astray. This is not a time to leave the fold and go astray because the wolves and, and the lions are just by the flanks waiting to take or pick up on any, you know, one sheep that strays away. So quickly, you, have just, have, you, you just got to, you know, readjust yourself. Amen. This is living always in the consciousness of the Spirit of God as your medium of existence and operating by it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now verse 22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such, there is no law. Against all this, there is no law. You want to live in the Spirit and walk in the Spirit successfully? You just have to exhibit this. Lay down, you know, you know guidance or the, guide, the guidelines, you know, for us. Amen. You just have to understand this. You live and walk in forgiveness. You live and walk in love. Amen. In joy, in peace, exercise patience, be kind. Amen. Be faithful to the things of God. Be gentle not to be proud. To have self-control, self-restraint. The Bible says against such there is no law. Hallelujah. Now those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passion and desire. If you are of Christ, if you are Christ, then you have crucified the flesh and its passions and desires on the cross. Hallelujah. 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 And so, people of God, it is high time you raised up your spiritual life. It is high time you operated at the yes level of your life. Of course, we can achieve this when we watch and pray. Amen. We watch and pray. There is something about the power of prayer. Amen. You must be intentional and consistent about it. If you want to see, you know, you know, notable, notable difference and change in your life, you just must be intentional and consistent about it in order to operate in power and in the supernatural. Hallelujah. You just have to embrace your, you know, your responsibility. What is your responsibility? To live and walk in the spirit by spending quality time on the word and praying. Spending quality time on the word and praying. Amen. You feed your spirit man. You feed your spirit man by chewing the word. You feed your spirit man by giving so much attention and time to the word of God. Amen. And then you pray fervently. The Bible speaking, it says in the book of James chapter 5, verse 16. And then the B part, it says that the effectual, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous, it make a tremendous power available. It avails much. The Lord will strengthen you in the season. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will we, we cause his face to shine on you. The Lord will strengthen you such that you will live above, you know, the level where the enemy intended for you. In the name of Jesus, it will be evident in your life everywhere you go. In the name of Jesus, when you live in the spirit, you radiate the aura of God. You, the light of God shines from your inside out. When you speak the words that come out of your buccal cavity are coated with fire. Whenever you're just about to talk, your tongue is coated, is electroplated, you know, with fire. Fire of the word. Anyone who hears you speaking, Oh, makatu sembra kia kabarada shatayaba. There shall be notable evidence 
of you know you, you know no, they they they, they it, it, it it will be evident because what they'll be hearing is the voice of the commander amen is the voice of fire that is for the believer that is in the spirit and also walking in the spirit i charge you this day that you walk in the spirit that you live in the spirit and everything that kind of look quite difficult for you to achieve you begin to achieve them with ease in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i just want us to take some prayer points just take some prayer point the times we are in are evil. Things are happening. This is a time to go closer to God. This is a time to hold God firm. This is a time to take your Christian life serious. This is a time to seek the face of God like never be before. Because it is only the Spirit of God that will lead you through this life's journey. Amen. It will lead you through this life's journey to enjoy sweatless victories may you enjoy sweatless victories this year may you enjoy sweatless victories on every side of season in the name of jesus the spirit of god will lead you to where those resources are amen the spirit of god will lead you to where those things you are it is only by the spirit of god that you can begin to permit and gain access into those realms into those terraformers, into those, you know, you know, you know, spheres of life where your expectations, where your, where your, where your desires are. And the Lord will lead you this season in the name of Jesus. As you live in the spirit, as you walk in the spirit, may you hear God per time. May you hear his voice per time in the name of Jesus. May your understanding be enlightened per time. May he reveal dimensions of life that will be useful for the next project before you in the name of Jesus somebody open up your mouth and begin to pray say father endow me with the spirit of wisdom and revelation to know you better endow me with the spirit of wisdom in revelation to know you better this is actually the time where we begin to experience god in a different dimension the global calamity that befell the world has opened you know, our eyes to a lot of things and we need the wisdom and revelation of god to operate in a different dimension in the name of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom and revelation to know you better. In the name of Jesus, to serve you better, to love you better, to know you better, to serve you better, to love you better. In the name of Jesus, may our love for you, O oh God, not wane down. May our love for you, O oh God, not go down. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Now we're going to pray again. You say, we are praying for divine strength to withstand and overcome the pressures of this present time. Yes, divine strength. Divine strength to overcome the pressures and the demands upon our christian life hey there are many things happening right now that is putting so much pressure and demand on our christian life it will take only those that walk in the spirit it will take only those that live in the spirit to withstand the tides the storms the wave the pressures and this demand of this present time upon our christian life upon our faith open up your mouth and cry for strength divine strength to withstand and overcome we are overcomers to 
We are overcomers in this time. We are overcomers in this time. We receive divine strength. We receive divine strength on every side. In the name of Jesus. To overcome the tides. To overcome the storms. To overcome the waves. To overcome the demands and the pressures of this present time. In the name of Jesus. We receive strength. We receive your strength, O God. In the name of Jesus. Shati Kaba. Mengrodosu. May we not be found wanting, O oh God. May we not compromise the word. May we not compromise our faith. In the name of Jesus, may we not trade the knowledge of God in us for less. May we not trade the knowledge of God in us for less. May we not settle for less. In the name name of Jesus, oh God, that thou wouldest help us, that our spirit man will be always at a yes level, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, right now, pray for the spirit of might to stand firm in righteousness, and to, they, to live the victorious life of the spirit, pray for the spirit of might to stand firm in righteousness, to live the victorious life of the Spirit. Open up your mouth, Father. The Bible speaks in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 50. It says that thou wouldest strengthen us with the spirit of might in our inner man. Strengthen us with the spirit of might in our inner man. Strengthen us with the spirit of might in our inner man. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of might in our inner man to stand firm, to say yes when we ought to say yes, to say no when we ought to say no, not to compromise, not to waver in the name of Jesus, not to subvert in the name of Jesus, not to circumvent in the name of Jesus, that we will stand, Lord, on the purity of your word. We will stand, Lord, on the purity of the our conviction, Rapoko Siprata, we will stand firm, we will stand un unshakable, unmovable in the name of Jesus upon the word of God, upon our, conv uh, our conviction, and it shall be our confidence in the name of Jesus. Mako Prete Lando Sutayaba, Brukotoli Bradashaba. Now open up your mouth lastly and ask the Lord for grace to finish well this Christian race. Oh Lord, grace to finish well this Christian race. Grace to finish well this Christian race. Grace to finish well this Christian race. Well race. A lot of distractions, a lot of things that the devil has staged here and there to pull down many, to drag many to the pit of hell. The Lord God of heaven, Lord will stand upon the power of your word and will decree and declare that your grace oh lord is sufficient for us we shall finish well this christian race in the name of jesus we will not be cast away in the last days oh god the words we hear oh god today will not stand against us in the name of jesus lord help us lord help us your grace is sufficient your grace is sufficient your grace is sufficient for we are what we are by the grace of God. Your grace, O Lord. Your grace, O Lord. For by strength shall no man prevail. For by physical strength shall no man prevail. Your grace, O Lord. Your grace, O Lord. To go through this journey. To go through life. And emerge victorious. And emerge successful. And to please you on every side and to make heaven in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Father. This is actually when we can now boast. 
Rotolim radika prata la rasha. Zeketoli mande pata bala rosha. Reketoli brakatozi prata la rosha. Ikato manosu. Limba di bala rasha. Le cogne pranesha. Supra impayele sundreba. Kratos efata in gross envidelia. Radikato ne zota platina kabaradosh. Dule bararash. Masupra taladash. Lord, we bless your name. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you praise. Can you lift up might to go through life's journey in sweatless victories on every side? I receive the spirit of might to go through life's journey in sweatless victories on every side. One more time. I receive the spirit of might to go through life's journey in sweatless victories on every side. In the name of Jesus, child of God, live and walk in the glory of the Spirit. Live and walk in the glory of the Spirit. Live fulfilled in life. Live fulfilled in life. Live fulfilled in life. You shall fulfill purpose. You shall fulfill destiny. The devil will not bring you down. The devil will not bring you down. You are on top and not below. You are above and not beneath. The flesh is crushed. The flesh is cursed. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you mightily. The Lord bless you mightily. The Lord increase you right more and more. Everywhere you go, the light of God in you will shine. Hallelujah. The light of God in you will shine. In the name of Jesus. Matthew 5, 16 says, Let your light so shine before men, that they will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. That is your portion. That is your portion. In the name of Jesus. Glow in the Lord. Shine in the Lord. Excel and prosper on every side. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you. Thank you for staying up to this time with us. The Lord bless you mightily. In the name of Jesus, you are energized. You are quickened. You are strengthened. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Makatosiaka. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Oh, at this moment, we come to this particular time. And um, we want to encourage you to join us again at the same time, 6 p.m. Hallelujah. It is a daily devotional, uh, 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 daily prayer hour. Amen. Daily prayer hour. Of course, our daily devotional and that is every morning is at 6 p.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. 6 a.m. in the morning. And our family prayer hour is 6 p.m. every evening. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah.